Welcome back to the Meeple Marathon and my uh, storage solution beta for Madara. Now this is a work in progress, but this is the storage solution I'm probably going to move forward with, uh, at least for the moment, because I want to see how uh, it works with me setting aside each of the four individual heroes uh, between missions and storing the game uh, mid-campaign. So. Now, there is a caveat to this storage solution I'm about to show you, and that is that I will be storing my adventure book, which is massive, on my bookshelf with, with other books. Um, this thing is huge. It adds a lot of weight to the box and makes it very tricky, especially with the spiral bound end, um, fitting it in here with everything else and you'll see that everything in here is is packed this box is packed to the gills but what i've been able to do is keep the miniatures in their trays um, store each of the various classes of uh, items so mundane common uncommon i've kept those separated out i don't have a perfect setup for my miniature cards yet i'm still looking for something that um, i'm really happy with but i'll show you what i've considered and there are some loose baggies uh, as well, so which we all know I'm not a fan of baggies. Now, um, Barrett at Meet Me at the Table has created a storage solution that works really well, uh, but it completely removes the box. So if you're looking for something that you can go buy uh, a kind of craft storage solution at your local hobby shop, uh, I'm going to put a link to his video where he shows off what he's done with Madara. Again, he has completely just done away with the box. Um, the map is just sitting on top here for decoration. I'm not really sure what to do with the map. But basically, everything but the uh, adventure book sits here on top. <clears throat> I have um, positioned the instruction manual all the way on the far right, simply because there's a little bit of a gap created by... Um, over here where the, the spiral end fits nicely over there. Now you will notice that I have decided to put my, I reversed this half of the box. Um, there's not much weight in these tile boards and I don't feel like they are going to smash these larger miniatures. And I also feel like I'm not gonna need these larger miniatures as often so I'd prefer not to have to pull this particular box out every single time I get the game out. So I just flip flopped them. It still works. Um, technically, when this box sits on top of the map tiles, if you get them in the center, it'll drop just a little bit, which if you're, if you feel like storing your flat instruction manuals and things like that on top is an ordeal, you can put them back the way it was. But for me, I'd rather just be able to kind of keep this here at the bottom of the box and not have to pull it out every time. I know I'm gonna be pulling out map tiles, so there we have it. All right, so here is my miniature box. Um, I have it upside down, but that really doesn't matter as long as it's in one way or the other. Um, but you can see here, it just kind of fits over top of the stuff I have underneath and creates a layer where you can place your instruction manuals. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Now this is far more organized than I've seen a lot of boxes, but still is not really that tight of an organization in my opinion. So again, this is why I'm considering this my beta version of the storage solution because it's not done yet. I'm not happy with it yet, but I wanted to show off what I've gotten so far. So I've got my baggies here um, because right now I don't, I know I'm not going to have enough room to store uh, individual heroes along with their cards and everything else in like nice tuck boxes like this size there's just not enough room for that so they have given you those baggies for storing your heroes in between mid campaign and that's probably what I'm gonna end with all right so here's some of the loose stuff I tried I had read that people were putting on going ahead and putting these on the miniatures but then I really had a hard time getting them back into the tray so I may still try and do that again um, we'll see but for right now, I just have these loose. Again, I haven't started playing yet, so I haven't needed to slap them on. And my dice here 
Now here are all of my miniature cards. Again, I am not happy with this. They're all in a baggie, including the hidden ones here. I've got my initiative cards and my combat loot cards on top here, along with the combat upgrades. I went ahead and sleeved the initiative cards and the combat loot cards because those are gonna be shuffled a lot. Everything else I don't feel like needs to be um, shuffled. I take good care of my stuff. So ideally I'd like for these to be in a better solution other than just a big baggie. Um, something I looked into is obviously these, you'll see more of these in a minute, and they fit, you can fit two stacks of those, but I couldn't get them into just two boxes. An alternative to that, I'm going to pull these off here, these are just the hidden cards I have not even opened yet, the large ones. An alternative to that is that the Super Stackers makes a what's called a colored pencil box that's roughly the size of two of these elongated. And I've used this before in like Descent or um, Batman um, Gotham City Chronicles by Monolith where I have put stuff in there and if you just kind of tip it down a little bit so they lay it in at an angle, they all fit. Um, the only problem with this is that you can see it sits higher than everything else. So I tried to create a level surface, but that is an option I may be going with. Again, any place you can find super stackers, you can usually find the elongated size. I also found this little gem here, which I thought was gonna be a winner at um, Michael's. The, this company appears to have replaced the uh, bead landing boxes at Michael's. Uh, everything is now this tidy ordinez brand. I'll put a link in the description below to these, but this actually fits um, mini cards quite nicely stored um, horizontally, but you can see it creates four compartments here. I was able to get them in actually going this way. I divided them up a little bit, but again, this sat, uh, this is really too tall in my opinion, but this is a good way if you want to keep all your mini cards together and protected this is a decent little box here. It just was a little bit bigger than I wanted in, or I had room for. All right, so there's just some additional options. Again, this storage solution is in beta, still fine tuning things. All right, I've got these just kind of thrown in here because I haven't even opened them or figured out where to put them. All right, this is a uh, five by seven photo keeper box can find this just about anywhere, uh, craft stores, any place that sells, you know, photo albums, things like that. Um, and so all of my large size cards are in here. Um, although unfortunately, it's already pretty full. You can see that they don't wiggle around too much. Um, and there's a whole bunch of hidden ones over there that are not going to fit in here entirely. So again, beta version, but that keeps those nicely. All of my standees, um, are then in a 4x6 photo keeper, so the exact same thing as the large cards are in. This is just a 4x6 size, and they all fit in there. You can see um, they're not crushing each other. Um, there's really no other way other than creating this ridiculous organization system other than just having these in a pile, and you'll have to sort through them, but it is what it is. So all that stuff kind of sits on top here. Um, and again, these are just kind of pulled out. I guess I could pull, just throw these in on top of one of those um, for the time being. But so what I have here are four boxes of the crayon size super stackers. And these contain my mundane, common, uncommon, and rare levels of items, along with I have thrown some stuff on top. So let's take a look at those here real quick. So in this bin, I have all my accessories on top of all of my common, common items. So common consumables all the way down to common armor and everything in between, and my accessories are just on top. So if I know I need to find an accessory, they're sitting on top and easy to find. Here I have all of my monster loot. So anything that had monster loot in the keyword and generally does not have that mundane, common, uncommon keyword on it, all the monster loot, um, you can see there's quite a bit of it, is sitting on top of my rare. So again, the rare is not going to come out for a while. These are going to only come out in specific scenarios, so I know that if I need to find some specific monster loot, 
I will go into that box. Then I have my mundane. Mundane's probably the biggest stack, so it's in here all by itself, and it's what I'm going to be using first, along with my red reader, so I don't lose track of that. And then this is uncommon. You can see I didn't have to stack anything else on top of this, but there is room I could throw that box of or that stack of hidden cards in there. But again, these all fit nicely uh, in this little configuration right here, and sit level with this most of this other stuff I have in here. So. Again, there's a lot of tokens in this game, and so figuring out the best way to store them was a little tricky. Um, I've got, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna need these. I may just set these aside somewhere and not bother keeping them in the box because there's these, and these seem to replace these. Um, so again, those are just kind of tossed in the bottom. Let's look at these tokens here in my larger, uh, storage box here, my largest storage box. So I've got my terrain tiles here. For the most part, um, they are all just one type of terrain um, here, like these unique ones with the red border are in there, and here these ones that look like wooden planks are doubled up. But other than that, I've got my health divided up in between the little guys and the medium and large guys, my stamina points, and then all the rest of the circular um, statuses. So all my circular ones are in here, drain tiles, things like that. And what's nice is that this is almost identical to the same plane as this. So it creates a flat surface again that you can store stuff on top of. Then I've got this small super stat, or not, uh, what are these called? seven stacks or something like that. I'll put a, the name and the link in the description below. All of this stuff was found at Michael's, your hobby store, can be probably found at Hobby Lobby. Um, but you can see here, this is nice that it locks in place. So you have to press this little button here in order to pop these open. But, so you know your stuff's not gonna pop out, but they sit nice and open while you're playing, makes it easy to reach into. So all of the smaller circular tokens are in here. You can see these are all circles. Once I get to know the game better, I'll be able to easily reach into, there's some that are doubled up in there, um, like all of the uh, colored tokens, like um, exit tokens and totem tokens and objective tokens are all in, in this one. Um, here's all the little mini pictures of people. Not really sure what that's for, but that fits nicely in this space if this is tilted up or you could do it um, vice versa, and then you can't really do it vice versa. But you can see how this creates a nice flat surface as well. So if you wanted to figure out how to, you probably could just, no, not quite. Um, but let's look at this one here. I've kind of organized everything by shape. So you can see these are all my square status effects are right in here, along with, um, I forget what the name of these are, but they go at the end of the initiative track when you need to hurry up, and then your used exhausted tokens, things like that, are all in this one. And that's pretty much it. Everything sits on the bottom of the box. Um, I was a little concerned about all of this stuff crushing the main miniatures. I would have loved to have not had to pull the miniatures out every time and figure out where to put that tray while I'm playing, but it is what it is. So again, you can see here, this goes in like this, and that goes in there like that. I'm okay with this sticking up because roughly then falls gives a fairly similar surface um, to put all of that in I'm actually putting this all in in a different order than I had before but that's all right let's see if all this works here throw this stuff right there couldn't store this here, but this may be a good place to store these eventually down the road. Um, so we'll see about that. Again, I'm looking for something better for this um, in the future, but for right now, 
Oh, I forgot about my large hidden card. See, there is so much content in this game, it's ridiculous. I don't even know how they fit it all into the box to ship it to me. Alright, but that should do it. And then this tray should fit. What our objective here is to create a somewhat flat surface so that this doesn't wobble around um, if pressure is put on it from one very side. See, it does wobble a little bit, but it's pretty good. And there's a gap enough at the top to add in your instruction manuals. So there we go. That is uh, Madara Storage Solution Beta. Again, this is still a work in progress, but I wanted to share what I've come up with so far. Um, Feel free to use any of the, you know, you can mix and match any of those components as you desire. Maybe you don't want to put all your cards into those vigil decks. You might have more room, things like that. Um, obviously, organizing the tokens in something like any of these three things is essential for the game. Um, you know, what I haven't looked into is flip-flopping things like that. Um, might have to look into that. So... Expect a, another video down the road, probably once I've started the campaign, re-looking at my storage solution to see how it works once I actually have adventures with uh, cards I want to save out from the rest and see how that works. But for now, this is a, a good start. So, Madara Beta Storage Solution from Meeple Marathon. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.